Hello, welcome to our weekly arts and crafts video. This week, we are going to learn how to make our own face masks using things we already have at home. These are based on two CDC No Sew face mask instructions. See the CDC link in the post for more information on face masks, how to clean them, how to wear them, why they're important, and more. Wearing face masks in public is still new, and new things can be a little scary. It's okay to feel however you're feeling about wearing a face mask, just know you're not alone. The important thing to remember is you don't need to be afraid when wearing a face mask. In fact, by wearing a face mask, you're doing your part to keep yourself and others safe, and that's something to be proud of. What you'll need are scissors, rubber bands or hair ties, a ruler or measuring tape, and some cloth. Some cloth ideas could be an old scarf, bandana, hand towel, or t-shirt. This is a great opportunity to pick something colorful or upcycle a t-shirt you just don't wear anymore. Let's get started. For our first mask, we're going to use an old t-shirt, pair of scissors, and a ruler. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is measure from the bottom of the t-shirt up to about six to seven inches. Keep in mind the size of this mask may vary based on um, the person. I'm going to go ahead and start at seven and cut all the way across. Can remove the other part of the t-shirt. I might clean up this. All right. Next, we're going to want to measure about six to seven inches in. This is how we're going to make uh, the ties that will tie um, the mask onto our face, both at the neck and behind the head. Again, the exact length that you go in will depend on um, the person. So I'm going to go ahead and based on the CDC website, it seems to go a little further than half in on the shirt. So I'm going to use that as a measurement. do that on the bottom as well. You can see that I'm making these straps maybe about an inch. An inch in width. We'll go ahead and cut from the top to the bottom to cut out this large rectangle. And remove that. Now you see here. And then the last thing we're going to do is at the very end, it's over, at the very end you're just going to cut that loop on the top and bottom. That is so we can tie this around our neck and this around our head. And that is how you make a t-shirt cloth mask, no sewing required. Here I am with my t-shirt mask. For our other cloth mask, we're going to use a bandana 
and two rubber bands. First thing we're going to do is fold the bandana in half. So I'm pulling from the bottom to the top so that they meet. And then the next thing we're going to do is fold the top down to the middle and the bottom up to the middle. And it should look like this. Then we're going to take our two rubber bands and we're going to place them around the handkerchief about six inches apart. You can use your ruler again to get an idea of six inches. Let's see. And once you have those spaced out, you can fold in one side all the way in and fold in the other side all the way in. Pull a little on the rubber bands. And now you have yourself a bandana cloth mask. And these will loop around your ears. And here I am with my bandana mask. Thanks for making cloth masks with me today. Feel free to share photos of your creations. I love to see them. And be sure to check back next week for another arts and crafts video. In the meantime, take care and be safe.